It's unbelievable. I mean, you're speechless. What do you say? You know, you're ecstatic, you're elated, you're delighted for the team, the hard work they've put in, um, the guys that help prepare the team, that are that are training all the time, maybe not necessarily playing a lot, but they're just as valuable, you know, as the guys that are playing in the game. You know, we've got we've got a rich tradition at Hartwick, um, NCA-wise. Um, this will be our 24th appearance. Our group is delighted to be part of that history. Um, there's a lot of people out there that know Hartwick um, that are supporting us today. So thanks for your support, everyone. We're delighted to have done this for you, and hopefully we can do you proud on Thursday. Talk a little bit about game planning coming into this game today. What was, what was your key to success when you talked to the team before the game? You know, obviously it's the, the, the cliche, who wants it most kind of thing. And that, that is part of it because, you know, in today's game, 1v1 defending for us was crucial. The type of players that they have, you know, looking at Raji up front and the three attacking players underneath him, they're 1v1 type of players, they're dynamic, they want to get on the ball and run at you. And our guys knew that we would have to deny them space and to neutralise them. And... If you've played soccer yourself and if you're playing against guys like that, you know that that's a hell of a, a lot of work that you have to put in in a game. So, you know, I think we neutralise the threat well and then going forward, we know that when we can get it down and play, that, you know, we, we can play wide, we can play central, we've got players that want to get on the ball. So part of the game plan was just neutralising them and then hopefully we could break them down. You know, it's interesting that the game came from a, the game winning goal came from a corner because that was a key piece where we had talked about in the box, both boxes, hopefully that we would, uh, we would take advantage against a possibly smaller team. Um, you know, matchup wise, we had a height advantage in the box. So when the balls came in, Kitra Gears got a good scratch on it that's put it into a dangerous area. And, you know, I said to Jamie after the game, he needed every sinew in that leg of his to stretch and get a stud onto the ball to direct it past the keeper. And obviously, we were delighted to see it hit the back of the net. We had to defend and be resolute and show character and resolve and personality and work rate, determination. All of those things that saw us over the finish line because, you know, Southern, as we know, have got special players themselves, players that are going to make you work hard, and they made us work hard for 90 minutes. What does it mean to win a conference championship for Hartwood? Well, it hasn't sunk in yet, but, you know, we've we've gone and done a double. We've, we've, we've won a league and cup double, so to speak. And, you know, like Tom was saying in his interview that, you know the the first half of the season's no secret that you know we didn't we didn't do well, but we've turned things around and we've hit form at the right time, and we feel that we've earned that number one seed. Um, and then coming into it, you know I feel that you know Georgia Southern being at home, you know they've got the home field advantage, they've got the home crowd, so there's things that we knew that we would have to rise above. Um, factors out of our control really that we did that as well so you know I think the first half of the season when you look back it sets you up for dealing with adversities at different times so while we've hit form and we've done well the adversity that we had to deal with at the closing stages of this game you know the start of the season helped with that we've learned from those moments and it's made us stronger as a team from top to bottom but you know winning a championship and just being able to see our name in the, in the hat for the NCAA tournament is is unbelievable unbelievable